This is your Tech News Briefing for Thursday, March 30th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. A black box on a plane can explain what happened if something goes wrong. Now a similar prospect is being taken on by hospitals. New technology can help track what happens in operating rooms, helping reduce medical errors and improve patient safety. Joining me to discuss this is Barbara Sadik, who wrote about this for the Wall Street Journal's Journal Reports. Hey, Barbara. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Can you start by telling us what is an OR black box? An OR black box is not a physical black box, but it's rather a system of sensors and software that records everything that's going on in an operating room. Barbara, there's so much that goes on in an operating room. How does this system capture what's happening there? It's artificial intelligence. It's used primarily to improve performance and to improve surgical outcomes. How do they improve surgical outcomes with this? Okay, well, this is somewhat new. It, you know, it's in the last couple of years that this has really been used more widely. It allows for people in the OR to work as a team by seeing what might be going wrong over time. Or if something does go wrong, they can see why it went wrong or try to determine how to do things better. It can also capture information that particular hospitals want to know more about to see how they're doing in that realm. You mentioned that this is fairly new. Where is it being tested out now? Well, it's in 24 hospitals in the United States, Canada, and Western Europe. And each of the hospitals that has a black spot has it only in a few operating rooms, not every operating room. Okay, so it's not everywhere yet, but from the hospitals that are testing it out, what have they found in using this? So, for example, at Duke University Medical Center, there are a couple of black boxes, and they found that often specimens that are taken from patients when they are in the undergoing an operation don't have an efficient system of getting to the proper labs for analysis. And so they've been working on streamlining that. Are there any concerns about using this type of technology? The concerns primarily have come from staff members, but the hospitals have spoken with the staff and have explained that this is not being used for punitive purposes, but rather to improve outcomes and teamwork. And what about patients? Do we know how they feel about the use of this? No, because I'm not sure how much they really know that it's being used. When a patient goes in for surgery, they sign a form, a consent form. And in those ORs that are using the black boxes, that is included in the consent form. But I don't know that anybody's told outright that everything's being recorded. Does it seem like from the experts that you spoke to, that this kind of technology is the future of medicine, the future of ORs? They certainly think that something like this is the future, yes, because it captures everything that one human being can't or even a group of people can't. Surgical safety technologies in Toronto, the manufacturer of the black boxes. They think this is the wave of the future. There are other things going on by other companies to supposedly improve outcomes in operating rooms. And so it's too early to tell. It remains to be seen. All right. That's Barbara Sadek, who wrote about this for WSJ Journal Reports. Thanks for joining us, Barbara. Thank you. And that's it for today's Tech News Briefing. But a quick note on AI, we are still looking for your AI questions for an upcoming episode. Do you want to know more about ChatGPT, Microsoft's new Bing, or Google's new Bard? Do you want to know how these AI programs work or how they could change our lives? Email us a voice recording with your AI question to tnb at wsj.com or leave a voicemail at 415 415- 439-6482. We look forward to hearing from you. I'm Zoe Thomas from the Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.